college girls reveal their icks. Their icks when it comes to guys. When his fingernails are so fucking long. Anything. Just breathing. Yeah. Ugh. Unless he plays guitar and his fingernails are long for that. Besides that, cut that. If he's a SoundCloud rapper. My biggest ick is when a guy has a super big ego. They just think they're so hot and they're not. What if he's good? He's got 100K plays. I, I just can't. Look at a SoundCloud rapper. Come on. Biggest ick is when a guy is under 5 foot 10. I guess so the average guy. <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay. The average guy is your ick. <laughs> yeah, you got it. It's like the thought of him like bumping into something and being nonchalant about it. When you like are looking at a guy and then they trip and fall. Pretending no one saw it. You like see him trip and fall and then you're like, what the f***? It's like, get up. Like, it's like, what the f***? Why are you falling? Ooh. When they're a club promoter. If they don't believe in astrology. What? That's not even real. We have to prescribe to your... Alright, bro, you got it. It's her life now. It is indeed her life. I did... I... Really? Mm. <laughs> what sign are you? Sagittarius. Yikes. Well, I just know we would never work out. I'm a Virgo. Oh, yeah, we wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> well, one of them is when a guy trauma dumps on you for two hours. Trauma dump? What the hell does that mean? It's when a guy tells you all of his problems and all of his trauma from the past, whatever, 15 years. So a guy should never really open up to you? Not in the first, like, two weeks. What's what? <laughs> what the f***? Hey, Chad, y'all be trauma dumping why why would you ever open up to someone you don't know what is wrong with people someone said yes way too enthusiastically <laughs> she's projecting i didn't even know there was a term for it you know how often someone has to do that to you for you to come up with a term or i don't know adopt a term i don't know if she came up with it trauma dumping hmm one of your icks when it comes to guys. I gotta call my friend. We have an ick list. There's like a hundred icks on it. Are you oh serious? Yes. <laughs> um, mommy issues. It's like any bad relationship with their mom. What if he doesn't have a mom? Uh, that's even worse. Oh. What? How is? Oh wait, what? Bro, if your mom is not in your life. You're done. What the fuck? That's crazy as hell. <laughs> Yo, no, she's crazy. Also, doesn't she look like a fucking model from the 1950s? Yeah. Can you share the ick list with me? Because, so it's for a YouTube video. These guys are asking. Lord have mercy. I need to take a seat after that one. She said if he didn't have a mom and the mom abandoned him, that's even worse. That's yes. even worse. What is the brother supposed to do? He can't regenerate a new mom and just go get a new one. If he can't drive. If a guy is just okay. wearing flip flops. Who's your Really? Okay, all right. I'm not gonna take it as a shot fired at me, chat. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna no, it's not. She's not talking about me, chat, because I wear slides. She's talking about flip flops. There's a difference between flip flops and slides. Slides, you slide your feet in. Flip flops have that fucking thing that separates your big toe from the rest of your feet. It's not the same thing. Flip flops is crazy as fuck. Honestly, if you weren't flip flops, that's wild as fuck. That's wild as fuck. Slides is fine. She didn't say not a thing about slides. Trust me, trust me. There's a big difference, chat. Big difference. Celebrity crush. Kim Tae Young from BTS. What if he has flip flops? It would be okay. It would be acceptable. The rules can be broken for certain individuals, yes. One time I was talking to this guy and someone attempted to murder him and he got hit by a car and that just like, it gave me the ache. He would have to. This nigga survived a homicide. And that gave you the ick. Was he supposed to die? How how is he win? Is she just trying is she just saying things? She must just be saying things. This guy and someone attempted to murder him and he got hit by a car and that just like it gave him the ick. He would have to limp off and like cry. I got the egg. We got the egg? Boy, she's joking, chat. There's no way she's not joking. She's just trying to be funny. It was just a joke. She's just trying to be funny. She's just joking. It's a joke. It's a joke. Because there's, there's no real way that's like a... No human is like that crazy. It's picturing the guy trying to get out of a ball pit. <laughs> Let me get this straight. Was a person actually out to get him? Yeah, like, they got in a fight, and then he got out of the car, and, like, the guy attempted to run him over and kill him. But he survived, and it's like, I couldn't talk to him anymore. What? The guy attempted to run him over and kill him, but he survived, and it's like, I couldn't talk to him anymore. Bro, do y'all even hear the shit that comes out your mouths? 
I think sometimes niggas just really want to be the, like, they want to be the shockiest person ever. Like, let's shock the world with this dumbass take. All right, cameras on. Three, two, one. Dumb take. Because that's the only justifiable reason, bro. She's trying to go viral on TikTok. She's trying to go viral on TikTok, but that has to be it. She's trying to go viral. Imagine the guy you like trying to get out of a ball pit. I'm stuck. So when a guy takes more photos than a girl, can you take a photo for me? Okay, let me help you take one. And then they're like, actually, can you take it from this angle and down? Like, oh, okay, mm. like, I'm not your photographer. Um, asking me to say daddy okay. with my chest. Uh, yeah, no, I just can't do that. I will never succumb to a man's expectations. <laughs> she won't succumb to a man's expectations, is that correct? What about you? Okay, I'll succumb, but like, this guy told me he was like three steps away from me being Jeffrey Dahmer according to his therapist. And I was like, what the fuck? You can't say that right now because I'm in a hookup. And then he pulled out his kitchen knife and set it on the counter and I was literally like and then you got out of there no I still fucked him hey nigga risked it all hey hey it'd be like that what's one of your icks when boys try to be funny so what if he's funny most of the time it's just not funny knock knock who's there interrupting cow interrupting cow moo um, was it good though? Oh yeah, it was so good. I think it was the fear combined with like the gigantic cock. Yeah, that's always what gets you. I got a crowd's warming right now. Hey, hey! And what's one of your biggest icks? When a guy wears a fanny pack like right here. Not like across the shoulder, okay, but like right fair. on the waist. It's a big ick. When he has a Bible verse in his bio. I really? <laughs> Wait, having faith, having... Prescribing to a religion is an ick? Yo! Someone said God hater. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. I didn't know people thought that. That's so crazy. I hate when guys ego lift. When guys lift more than they can handle, I think it's kind of like, why are you doing the wrong technique? Or like, when they're on their skateboards, right? And they're trying to cross and then they fall off the curb and the skateboard goes flying and they're chasing after, you know, with their little walk. Is there like an alternative of what they could or should do or are they just fucked if they stumble? Yeah, they're fucked. Sorry. Okay, guys, don't stumble, guys. Um, I don't like friendly Hey, big DMT, appreciate three months, man. Guys, if I see him friendly with other people, that's a big ick. Being one of those babies that got I passed around that. at parties by their, like, parents. Baby getting passed around. Parent wine charcuterie nights. He can't have any girlfriends. I mean, like, he can, but, like, it has to just be a girlfriend. It might be a white thing, the charcuterie yeah. board. Yeah, you know, no, well, it's, yeah. it's ultra white. It's very white. She's from Utah. Wow. I'm not Mormon. I'm not Mormon. I am from Utah, though. Shout out Utah. So your ick is? When a guy has weirdly hairless legs, it looks... That's me, chat. She definitely talking about me. It's weird to not be hairy. I don't know, like, it's just genetic, though. Really? Me, genetically, the way I am is just, is just the ick? I don't have hair anywhere, though. Well, not anywhere, but I barely have hair. Let's see him. <clears throat> of course, man. So, this is my leg right here. <clears throat> I have shorts. <laughs> They're over here. This is my leg. I don't really have any hair though, chat. I barely, I barely have some. I never really, I don't, I don't even have hair on my chest though. I don't have, you know, like what? Oh, wow. Okay. I apologize for that. I don't know what this is right here. What is this? Oh, that's for my headset. My bad. No hair. So I didn't realize. What if hair is an ick? Is hair an ick for anybody? Or does, is hair like necessary? I didn't realize hair was attractive. <clears throat> Jot's notes. <clears throat> East African, East, I know East African people that are hairy though. Looks like they shave and their legs are like shiny like a woman's. When guys what are just fuck? like, oh, I can do this, I can do that. Like super cocky to the point where they're like. Nigga skips leg day. I'm fat. I'm fat. That's why you can't see any muscle. Is it because I'm fucking fat? So when I cut down on the fat, I'm 28% body fat, 27% right now. When I get to 17, I'm 27% body fat. You're not gonna tell me I'm not fat. I'm 27%. That's that's overweight. To chat telling me what I am. I'm telling you. I'm overweight. Chat. I just hit. I, I'm. I just hit some crazy ass PRs on the deadlift and the squat. Crazy for me. 
Yes, two days ago. I had the footage of this shit. I do not skip leg day. I definitely don't really work on my calves, to be fair. Not really. Who the fuck cares about your calves? I'm not gonna lie, I skipped my calves yesterday. I was supposed to work out yesterday. I skipped it yesterday, man. I'll get into that shit, though. My, my real priority is my quads, hams, and glutes. You feel me? But, uh, yeah. You're heavy, not fat. I'm just saying I'm overweight. I'm 27% body fat. So I am fat because I'm carrying fat. So when I get down to, like, 17%, I could say now I'm a normal, now I'm a normal weight or, like, 18%. I'm not there yet. Like looking for confirmation from me. I'm hey, like, Benji, no. hey. three months. what's one of your icks? Okay, I have a lot of these. Chest hair? I have uh, like 8 million okay. subscribers. No, that's fine because that's a fact. You have the proof. It's more like, oh, I'm built as fuck. Bare chest. Bare. Well, she said she doesn't like guys with hairless legs. Hairless legs? Fully hairless, like shaved for swimming. He's a swimmer. That's hot. I don't give a fuck. When they call girls females, you can't say. If they shave their legs because they're a swimmer, that's a green flag. How about you wouldn't agree with that? I think it's bad no matter what. Don't ever call a girl female, period. Can you call guys males? No. I don't like when they like hit their hips, like shake their hips at dance parties and circles. When on their dating profile, what? they have a picture of a girl like kissing them on the cheeks. I ain't never seen that before. Dudes post pictures with a girl kissing them on the cheek okay. on intent. Hey, oh Philly gosh. with a tag! Give it! Philly! Appreciate the song! Like, I put a W in the chat. W gifted, W gifted, W gifted, W gifted, W gifted, W gifted, W gifted. W gifted, W gifted, W gifted, W gifted. Appreciate you, dog. He said, a book, a book, a book. That might have been what she was talking about, actually. That might have been exactly what she was talking about. She would hate Kai at a party. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is your girlfriend? He was like, yeah, this is my girlfriend, and we're looking for a third. I don't like when they post thirst traps, when they use filters, when they giggle. I don't like when they comment, like, I'm him, he's him, like, Timothy. That's very annoying. Okay, okay. Give me wow. a minute. That's a lot of misandry in a matter of few minutes. There's currently a heat wave going on in Southern California and other parts of California, but I'm not done with the X yet, so why don't we FaceTime some girls and add to our ick list. So what are some of your icks when it comes to guys? Ew, I hate crumbs. If a guy eats in his bed, that's so gross. Who the fuck eats in their beds, chat? You have the rest of your house to eat. Me. You can eat on the floor, on the dining room table, in the living room. You can eat in the kitchen. You can eat outside. You eat on your bed? Oh, that's nasty. That is fucking disgusting. If they're clumsy, flip flops. They're a SoundCloud rapper. They touch my purse. Like, don't touch my purse. Did you buy it? They did it. So don't touch it. If they're white, that's an automatic act. When a guy doesn't. Okay, that's just racist. What the fuck? It's one thing to say one's your preference. A whole fucking category of people is an ick? That's crazy as hell. Why did she just get away with that? Wear socks with their slides and they have their ugly ass toes sticking out. Ick. Put some socks on. And they're a picky eater. Disgusting. If all you eat is chicken tenders and that's all you order whenever you go out to dinner, disgusting. When guys complain too much, like what are you complaining for? Having a superiority <laughs> complex. And if their number one most used app is TikTok. She said slides. Bro, whatever. Okay, so that one was directed at me. Uh, it's not my fault. I pedicure my toes. My toes are in great shape. You know, slide off my cock. I'm going to walk my fucking slides where I want to. You know what I'm saying? And everyone just accepts it, chat. It is what it is. You feel me? I go to overtime in slides. You feel me? I go to workout in slides. I go to drive in slides. I go to events in slides. I go home in slides. I work, like, everything I do, I do them in slides. So everyone else accepts it, man. So I just don't need her acceptance. Basically what it is. Run. I'm vomiting everywhere. A guy has like money on his like arm. They're like posing. Yeah. Fake. Now I figured we would take a look at some of the guys that we interviewed mm -hmm. to see what their turnoffs were when it comes to dating girls. Cause no one cares about male preferences. You can't have any preferences as a male. Let the men talk. <laughs> well, what's one of your turnoffs when it comes to girls? When she got tattoos. I can't do it. Even what? Really? In the cute dainty ones, she got the Jesus quote on her wrist. No tattoos, I'm sorry. Oh, I see a list here. You got the list out? God damn! And she's got some badass. I'm sorry. Oh, I see a list here. You got the list out? God. <laughs> he has a podcast. Is on there. Doesn't like going out partying. 
God forbid you're on your grind, chat. Getting way too drunk. I can see that. Long nails. Okay. Stan's Ronaldo. What the fuck is wrong with her? Well, you can't be a Ronaldo fan. Boastful. Okay. Economics or tech guy that walks down... That talks down other people's degrees. She definitely is a communications major, chat. Or she's in a psychology major. And she and, and it's a useless fucking career path. And so some people just tell her that and she gets upset. She gets upset. That's what it is. Can't use a knife and a fork. I can't do that. What, I mean, I can see that. Uses filters. I can see that. Uh, votes conservative. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> Hasn't gotten the vaccine because he doesn't need it. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? This is getting harder and harder to read. Internet trolls too much. He uh, claims he's richer than him. Fuck, I can't read this shit. Only wears... Uh, can't do his own washing. Who the fuck is she dating? Who is she dating? Damn. She's got some badass teeth, like some fucked up shit. Conservative. Can't do your own laundry. Oh. Hates Christmas. Unfriendly. Smoking cigs. That's nasty. Ugh, who's no, no, that actually, I'm sorry to my cig smokers in the chat, but yo, no, respectfully though, that's crazy as hell. In 2022, put the shit down, nigga. There's so many other things to smoke if you really want to smoke, bro. God damn. Don't smoke cigs. It's 2022. Post quotes on Insta all day. Uses the gorilla emoji. Makes everything about money and business. Uh, it's got to be catfishing, bro. Dingy. Only watches anime. Only on Twitter talking about people's looks for no reason. The astrology. What the fuck? They hold on, hold on now, hold on. What Dingy. does she want? Only wa what does she want? The nigga can't be at home working all the time because he has to be out partying with her. But he can't be stingy with his money, so the nigga has to be expressive with the way he spends his money. He doesn't have because he's spending his time out with her. He can't be on anime. He can't be a business tech guy. Like, actually, who the fuck does she talk to? It has to be like a, a humanities major with rich parents and hella free time. That's what she's looking for. Watches anime. Only on Twitter talking about people's looks for no reason. The astrology stuff, man. It's into back down. And if she likes mayonnaise, I'm out. Fuck mayonnaise. Fuck mayonnaise. <laughs> Post thirst traps, giggles. Poor grammar, can't spell. Okay, okay hold on. Let me press you on one of those. Spell, definitely. Uh -huh. D-E-F-I-N-E-T-L-Y. She's just chatting. She's just chatting. She's just chatting. Hey, nah, appreciate. I don't. Nah, happy. I butchered your shit. Thanks for the fucking resub. And she don't want guys that can't spell. One of your turn offs when it comes to girls. Call you on their racist. Yeah, racism. Um, when she's showing off her like TikTok followers. You never been with a racist girl before? I have. I have actually. I'll have you know I have 100k on TikTok. You don't like that? Nah. It was good. Like I don't regret it, but her mom didn't like me. Makes sense. But you, when you were doing it, you were like, "This is for my ancestors. This is for grandma." Yeah, yeah. yeah I, like I felt good about it. It was a good moment. Reparations. Reparations. <laughs> Guy. Reparations. So maybe it's not a turn off. Maybe it's a good thing. Any racist chicks want to hit him up? Clan member or something? The biggest one is the perfume for me. How the girl smells. If it is not what I like, it's a used enough for me. Yeah. So we got the USC okay. freshman Rhino and Nobo. What's y'all's turn offs when it comes to girls? Hygiene. If a bitch got nasty hygiene, oh my god. Probably when they can lift more weight than me and I'm struggling to put up 10 pound dumbbells. Yeah, never hit the gym, but I'm working on it. You ever been with a smelly girl? Wait, what? She can't be fit? Jesus, dude, that's a fucking crazy ick. Before? Hell no, nah, but I've been around him. Yeah, I've been around him. Yeah, never hit the gym, but I'm working on it. You ever been with a smelly girl before? Hell no, nah, but I've been around him. Yeah, I've been around bad, like bad bitches who stink, like it can't work. And you? Probably when they don't like me back, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, because you can't like someone that doesn't like you back. I mean, it happens to me every day. It's one of your turnoffs when it comes to girls. Dude, I think what? it's Instagram boomerang girls, where they're always like up on the pole, they're like, like that. That's kind of weird. One of your turnoffs when it comes to women. When a bitch talks too much about her ex. I feel like that's the most awkward thing to like film. Well, when they do the. Put their leg like like that. I had this one girl, very specific story. She told me like her ex man's had a foot fetish. She would always have her nails done just for him. And then she told me that shit. Imagine being the friend, you're just like, okay, one more time, just do it again, one more time, do it again. Like you've never been asked to do a boomerang by a guy. Yeah, you never. Yo, bro, get in this boomerang. Get in this boomerang real quick. We're just like, what's one of your turnoffs when it comes to girls? Oh, uh, if they're from San Antonio. What's wrong with those? Wait, mm hmm. 
What in the Charles Barkley is happening here? Break that one down, please. Uh, you know, the churros down there goes a little crazy, so. Dude, I hate it when girls say, like, it's giving. I think that's the worst. I could not agree more. Please bury that. It's giving. One of your ex is. So it's just Instagram versus reality. So they are, they get some fake poses all there, like the butts out. Uh. And then it's like, you see the, the cushions outside. And if it's, it, it's, in, it's like, they've got some stuff. And yeah, I know exactly. Him trying to describe the fucking female body is so crazy. Say it again, man. It's like you see the, the cushions outside, and if it's it, it's, in, it's like they've got some stuff. And yeah, I... oh, bro, just did he forget the terms people used to describe those body parts? The cushions and the stuffs, and you know all the other things that they got. I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> I couldn't agree more with that one. And then their Instagram hits the reality, and you see, oh yeah, who's she is? Mm -hmm. It's just a yes. tunnel. No one knows that yeah, one. Yeah. All right, man, that was yeah. good. Probably when she like acts like a mom. Could you give me an example? She wants to do everything for you, just like treats you like a baby. Oh, she wants to. That's tough. What the fuck? Hey, Hundo, appreciate the gift. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, she wants to do everything for you and that nigga's complaining? He does not deserve her. What the fuck? What kind of shit is that? Hey, slide her this way. What's wrong with this nigga? Serve you food or something. I mean, like, I can serve myself. Oh, shit, okay. No, it's... What the fuck? Of course you can. That's not the point. You can do anything yourself. It's just nice when someone else does it for you. You can get yourself a gift, nigga, but if she gets you a gift, it fucking... That's like... Just because you could do it yourself, you don't want others to do it for you. What in the, what in the insecurities? I think it's. Bad take on his part. Bad, bad take, bad take. Any girls that he's rejecting, you're welcome over here. Bad Someone ass. call me. Somebody give me some soup. Someone rub my tummy and give me a, a spoonful of applesauce. Uh, that I, was crazy. I, that was crazy. She wanted to look after me. I had to dump this girl. She was looking after me too much. <laughs> Helping me out. She just cared too much, Chad. She saw I had a long day. Gave me a nice massage and sucked my dick. It didn't help me while we fell asleep, man. Hey, while we watch some fucking Love is Blind or whatever the fuck is out. I hated that, man. This shit was just like, leave me alone. I can go get my own massage. I can go jerk my own dick. Leave me alone. Fuck is wrong with you always trying to take care of me and shit. Get, a get away from me. Ew. Making my day be easier. I can do it myself. Fuck. I'll take some assistance. Shit. Overconfidence. Specifically when you're like, oh, no, my goodness, you're so pretty. And they're like, oh, I know. Yeah, it's bullshit. You're not. I lied. What's one of your turnoffs when it comes to dating? <laughs> I don't like your chain. You don't like my chain. I don't like your chain. You don't like my chain. I don't like your chain. You don't like my chain. I don't like your chain. I don't like your chain. My chain. I don't like your chain. Thank you. That might have been the weirdest shit I've ever seen. I know. Shit. I'm sorry. Did I miss what happened, or is are we all confused? Overconfidence, specifically when you're like, oh no, my goodness, you're so pretty, and they're like, oh, I know. Yes, yeah, bullshit. You're not. I lied. What's one of your turnoffs when it comes to dating? I don't like your chain. You don't like my chain. I don't like your chain. You don't like my chain. I don't like your chain. I don't like your chain. I don't like your chain. You don't like my chain. I don't like your chain. You don't like my chain. I don't like your chain. You don't like my chain. Thank, Thank you. you. These two are perfect for each other. Fucking perfect. These guys are fucking perfect for each other. They could they should never break up because there's no one that's gonna match their level of fucking weird. They're perfectly weird for each other. This is great. <laughs> You're comparing height. Who the fuck cares? I hate when niggas come up to me. I was like, you know what, AJ? You're shorter than I thought. You're, you're taller than I thought. What? What do I say to that? Oh, wow. Sorry to let you down. What am I supposed to say? Just leave your fucking... Uh, leave your whatever you have in your brain and what you thought I was out. That's not what I am. You're in front of me. This is what I am, man. Stop acting so fucking surprised. How tall are you? I'm 5'11", you know. You know, six foot if I'm wearing shoes, but like, I'm 5'11". It's just like, who cares? Why are you telling them? Just, what do you think? Do you envision what the experience is like for me when you say that? Like, I don't know what to tell you. I'm like, damn, that's tough. I'm just like a regular average height ass guy. You would think like I was really tall or really sh uh, Tell them the problem with this fucking dumbass generation, Davis. <laughs> tell them the problem. What is an ick? What's your ick, Davis? That's bullshit, man. What's your ick? I don't have any icks. You know, you know, you know what my icks are? What? Astrology. That okay. shit's not real. That shit is fucking fake. That shit is fake. Mm -hmm. If you believe in astrology, you're what? Tell them what they are. I think you're you're. Uh. -huh. No, 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 okay. no, no, okay. no, 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 no,